Hello, thank you for joining us here again uh, for another lesson in Sage X3. In uh, today's lecture, we're going to be taking a, uh, a first look at some of the currency exchange rate uh, functionalities that exist within X3. Specifically in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the exchange rate type that can be associated with your business partners, as well as how to go about and assign new currency exchange rates. Okay, so to start, let's go ahead and take a look at our customer BPs. And we'll take a look at the different currency exchange rate types that you can assign to them. So we're going to come under our common data menu, then down to BPs, then in here to customers. Okay, so in here on the customer file, first off here on the identity tab, this is where you come to specify the default currency that's going to be associated with your customer. Okay, so this could be anything from USDs for US dollars, uh, euros, pound sterling, um, a variety of different currencies uh, X3 will support. Okay, so that'll be the first um, location that you're going to want to set. Then secondly, we're going to come over here to the management tab and we're going to look in this rate type field, which pertains to what currency exchange rate table um, is to be associated with transactions um, that are performed with this business partner. Okay, so that default currency that you have set up on the identity tab in the context of customers, that's going to be the default currency that populates on sales quotes, on sales orders, on your sales invoices. Okay. Then through this rate type field, this is where we come to say, well, in X3, we have the capability of keeping daily exchange rate tables, monthly exchange rate tables, average exchange rate tables, and so forth. So, you, you know, your organization is going to have to go about and determine, you know, do we want to keep our exchange rates um, updated on a daily basis? Um, or is it satisfactory for us to establish one monthly exchange rate at the beginning of the month and have all transactions throughout the course of that month uh, be booked at that exchange rate? Um, you know, those are probably the two common options that I see clients employ as it relates to this. Okay, so in this case, let's go ahead and we'll keep the daily exchange rate table. All right, so now we're going to go out of here. Here, we're going to come in and establish um, our new currency exchange rates. So if I come under my common data menu and come under my common tables, and in here, I'm going to come over to the option for uh, currency rates. Okay, so in here, for instance, I could come in, specify what I want my source currency to be, specify my uh, date that I want to specify for my currency exchange rate. Then here in the rate type, this is where I come to specify if I'm establishing a daily rate table, a monthly rate table, an average rate table, or so forth. Okay, so for this exercise, we're going to go ahead and use the daily rate. And I can see in here, um, by virtue of pivoting on this date, this is the most current currency exchange rates that I have established in the system against this source currency of US dollars. Okay, so to establish a new one, I'm going to come down here um, to my first available new line going to specify the currency that I want to establish the rate against. Okay, then I'm going to say one US dollar equates to so many euros. And the same thing for the British pounds, I can set up whatever that respective exchange rate is and say also for the Canadian dollars. Okay. 
and I'll come over here and click on my save. Okay, so that's how we can go about and establish new rates. Now in here, another thing, a uh, handy tool that X3 provides you with is the ability to see your history on a particular exchange rate. So if I come over here under my criteria button, then in here I'm going to say my source currency is US dollars, and I want to take a look at my daily exchange rate table, say over the course of the last five days against the Canadian dollar. I can come in here and say OK. Then over here on the History tab, this will kind of give me visibility in terms of how that exchange rate has been um, trending over the course of the last five days. Okay, so that's it for our lesson for today. I hope uh, you find this lessons to be helpful and useful to you. Uh, if so, I'd ask you to please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you soon.